is the Q&A session about Charles Wesley and his life. Um, like, what did Charles Wesley contribute to ministry? Uh, to ministry, uh, he was actually a really famous uh, preacher in, in England. He and his brother John Wesley, whom you've probably heard of, um, are responsible for the Methodist movement um, in England, and uh, he actually started he actually started uh, that ministry as kind of a, a club while he was at Oxford, mm-hmm. and uh, he would he was a tutor, and so he led this club, and they would they would study the Greek New Testament and have Bible studies and prayer meetings, and they would uh, frequently uh, do prison evangelism. Um, their ministry, uh, John and Charles, are kind of they kind of go hand in hand because they both did the same thing and had led pretty similar lives, even though they disagreed on some things. They uh, traveled across the Atlantic to Georgia, which was then a British colony, and uh, with and they met up with some German Moravian Christians, which would be the equivalent of today's Pentecostal movement kind of Christians, and um, they they both kind of had a, a place in their faith that they called a conversion, um, and they had both both believed prior to that point, but it was more of a conversion to the Holy Spirit and, and had, they had for the first time actually experienced God and felt God in the air and uh, heard him speak. And so they, they were responsible for, for a lot of preaching. Charles Wesley specifically was responsible for, uh, for about 6,000 hymns. Um, uh, Charles Wesley also uh, preached. He, he was more influential a preacher than John Wesley, believe it or not. John Wesley gets a lot of the credit because of how fiery of a preacher he was, but Charles Wesley was just as influential, sometimes preaching to crowds of 10,000 people. So. Can you tell us about the family? Uh, yeah, he was born to uh, Samuel Wesley and Susanna Wesley, and they had 19 children, cool. nine of which did not survive infancy, and uh, he was the second youngest of the 10 surviving. Um, He later in life married, um, I didn't go into a a whole lot with that uh, in my paper, but later in life he he married and and had a few children, I think maybe three or four, so. Um, What is like his function in our map of worship history? Well, uh, just the the fact that he's written 6,000 plus Hymns. I don't, I don't know what the exact number is. In my research, I saw 5,500. I saw 6,000 plus. I saw even 7,000. And um, uh, he's responsible for hymns like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, uh, Oh, 4,000 Tongues to Sing, and Can It Be, um, amongst, amongst many others. Uh, okay. So, like, does he have a famous song? Well, the three I just Other mentioned are pretty famous. Um, like, is there one that would be considered his most famous? You know, I didn't really see. I didn't really see because a, a lot of people look at his life and see how much he contributed, and that's what they look at. They don't really see which one is the most famous, I guess. In terms of fame, you could probably go with Hark the Herald Angels Sing because of how frequently it's used during Christmas time. That's it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right. This is O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing, uh, which is one of Charles Wesley's most famous hymns. I'm going to be doing it kind of in the style of David Crowder Band, which is a more recent recording of it. O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing. My great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. My gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of Thy name. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrow cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. 
He breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoners free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for me. He speaks a listening to his voice. Now life and dead receive. The mournful broken hearts rejoice. The humble born believe. Glory to God and praise and love be ever, ever give. By saints below and saints above, the church and earth and heaven.